What is going on guys? My name is Felix and today I'm going to look at baggy trousers and how to style them. So for this video I've got together all my pairs of baggy trousers and I'm going to show you how to style them, what's the best shoes to wear with them, the best outfits, so on and so forth. So we've got plain ones. These are window pane, like they're black, but you can pass them as plain for this video. Same sort of styling technique. Patterned trousers. So these are like a purple tartan print. These are really cool, really, really nice. They're cut really well as well. As well, Good ones to, to style with, I guess. Sport pants. So these are like the Kappa straight leg track pants really really comfy and finally a little bit of a curveball but pajama pants so these are my plain baggy pants these are the salad trousers from weekday i showed them off in my weekday video as well these are really really good to pair with because these are so plain you can pair them with pretty much anything i think it's best for all baggy trousers is to have a baggy top as well and just make the overall outfit chunky and baggy that just kind of sells it a little bit better i think for girls it looks better to have a skinnier top like a more fitted top from it just looks better and for some reason it contrasts really well also for men if you have got a skinnier upper body i would try this out it can look a bit weird but if you get it right it works really well so as for these trousers i have paired them with a whole bunch of shoes because these trousers are so wide i go for a more chunky trainer so i've worn these with my oswegos 100 percent, these are like the best shoe to wear baggy trousers with oswegos and air force ones both of these are so chunky so they look really good when the trouser drapes over the top of them. My favorite to wear with these trousers, especially are Mars where goes, is because they add a little bit more height on the bottom. So you get that drape, it looks, it's much more effective on it. And because of the details on the Oswego, they kind, it kind of accentuates these details along here, which is really, really nice. As for on top, I probably wear just like a plain hoodie. I wear my big hawk hoodie from weekday, as well as a couple pieces from Ada Era. So a more baggy top with a baggy trouser and a chunky shoe just works really well. I also like to do a long sleeve t-shirt under a t-shirt with these. If you wear like a black top with a white undershirt, it kind of matches the colors on the trouser as well. So the white sort of lines across the trouser that create the window pane effect kind of match with the long sleeve top and then a black t-shirt matches with the actual like the rest of the trousers themselves. For me, that just works really well. For the patterned trousers, I actually really wanted these because I wanted to match them with this shoe. And these are the purple Vans Anaheim shoes, the old schools. Um, the purples match perfectly. And in the outfit, because these are so powerful and they're such like the main attraction for the piece, I'd focus on a single color top or maybe stick to the monotone colors. Don't try and do too much purple in the outfit and match with these purple. But for patterned trousers, they are gonna be the main piece in the outfit. So I would highly recommend a plain upper and a more simple shoe. I've tried these shoes with Oswegos and it just doesn't look right because both shoes, the, the trousers are very detailed and so are the shoes and they doesn't work. But with Air Forces, it works really well. I must say Air Forces that work perfectly for like every single trouser that I have here. So if you are going to wear baggy trousers, Air Force Ones are always a good go-to. With the shoe, it's got to be simple. However, I do like to mismatch prints, which sounds a bit bad, but for some reason it works. With my checkerboard skate highs, it works really well. I don't know why, but the checkerboard contrasts it really well and the fit of these trousers kind of makes the shoe look really cool i don't know i like the trousers over a, a over a high top it just looks different and it looks kind of i don't know it looks nice and i don't know how but it just works i might try it with a pair of normal skate highs not my checkerboard and see if it looks better but for now i just have these ones so these are the ones i do wear with it and it contrasts quite nicely as for the sport pants because there is like a pleat in the middle you do get this sort of cone effect sort of well to like a double like a diamond effect on the trousers and that sits really nicely over most of the shoes again you can wear these kappa trousers or any sports trousers that are wider fit that kind of drape over the shoe with any of these shoes they work ex excellently the length of these is perfect because it kind of just sits directly above my heel so i can wear any shoe with it low top whether it's flat or if it's got a bit of a sole whether it's chunky it just seems to work these are like the black ones so you can wear them with anything i would recommend if you've got a pair of nike track pants or adidas track pants i would recommend matching the shoe just otherwise it looks a bit weird because if you're wearing a pair of air forces with a pair of adidas track bottoms it's the no-go kind of in like the whole sneakerhead community i think so it's, it's good to match up the shoe with the trouser i understand with brands like kappa and feeler you're not you're less likely to wear a matching track pant so just try it out test it out don't mix mix and match like the the big brands such as adidas and nike because it doesn't work well obviously with these you can match them with pretty much anything so i would wear them with an oversized hoodie or just a normal t-shirt 
maintain the sports theme, maybe wear a track jacket. It work, they work really well with puffer jackets as well, the track bottoms, because it's kind of that sporty vibe, that athletic wear sort of situation that you're gonna be in, and it, it looks really nice. And finally, the pajama bottoms. I have these Ralph pajama bottoms. These are a medium, so they're a tiny bit big, so I just roll them over once. But these are really good for the summer. Not for the winter, because remember, they are pajama bottoms, so they will literally let every single piece of air breathe straight through them. They are really flowy. They're really good. If you wash them and soften them, they, they kind of sit over the shoe really well. The length of them is perfect. And again, they look great with most shoes. Because of the pattern all over them, I wouldn't recommend wearing with the Oswegos or like a checkerboard skate high. The prints will contrast massively and it just doesn't work that well. So yeah, stick these with like a chunkier shoe and it looks excellent. I'll say again, an Air Force One and on top, probably any, any sweatshirt or t-shirt. Try and stick to more basic pieces. Don't go very graphic heavy because the bottom is very heavy with patterns as well for mostly if you're wearing pajama bottoms. I also have a pair of Tommy Hilfiger ones which are very similar, they just have the Tommy logo across them. So again, try and stick to like a more basic upper. Don't go over the top on the prints because you can kind of make the outfit look a bit too over the top and a bit much. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. This has been like a, a kind of a new tester sort of video, how to style. I wanted to try this out for a while. Comment down below if you tried out this trend. I know it's going to be a trend for 2018 at some point. I can just see it coming because of the whole runway shows that have been going on last year. And you can just see the trend kind of creeping in a little bit more. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.